We had everything ready at home to bring home a second child. We had a nursery ready and everything washed up and um, our leave of absence paperwork and everything ready with our jobs um, for a second child. And that was our plan, was to go ahead and uh, bring Samuel home with us, but it wasn't God's plan. I'm Eric and this is my wife, Sarah. We've been attending First Family since 2007, and this is a portrait of God working in our lives through our son, Samuel. In July, we had chosen our baby names, and our boy name was obviously Samuel, and our girl name was also taken from First Samuel. So we spent the summer reading both of the Samuels. And then in August, when we attended our Lighthouse Leader Training, um, we learned that that was gonna be part of our curriculum at the start of 2017. And I was pumped because everything that we um, had been studying, we were gonna be going over in church. Um, flash forward to November 30th, we had our son and we had had this lovely pregnancy and things had gone so well. Um, when our son was born, he had the umbilical cord wrapped three times around his neck and he was struggling to breathe after birth. He was taken to NICU and we were given high hopes that he would, um, that he, he would recover nicely. Um, they put him on hypothermia protocol, so he was cold for three days while we waited to see if his neurologic functioning could be preserved. We prayed for a miracle during those three days, and by the time um, they were starting the rewarming process, we knew that he wasn't going to wake up. When we found out that our son wasn't doing well shortly after birth, um, we were able to take comfort in the lessons that we had learned from reading 1 Samuel and about obedience and the overarching theme of humility mm -hmm. and uh, not being bitter. And looking at Hannah's story, we could see that um, she wasn't bitter, or angry, and that she um, made good on her promise to God. Yeah. We just. Uh didn't really know what to do, and so once we had the great prognosis, we actually had to start planning uh, our son's funeral, and not uh, the ideas and hopes and dreams of taking him home with us. Throughout the eight days of all the pain and uh, just constant roller coaster of emotions, God definitely put uh, the people in our lives that we needed, mm -hmm. and. Uh, again, gave us the strength and the, the ideas that we've had to plan our son's funeral and to uh, help us with our next steps in life. And going back to our time in the NICU and thinking about the way that like, the staff saw how much peace we had, and I don't know if they're used to that because we weren't fighting for a, a medical solution to our problem and we weren't angry with doctors and we weren't wanting to transfer to a different hospital that would provide us some sliver of hope that we could keep our son here. Um, when it got close to the end, we were just encouraging him to go home. And heaven becomes a really real place to you when you're encouraging your son to go there. And that's been a huge um, element of peace for us because we know that he's there and we know that um, he's being taken care of. And so thinking about our children, uh, we're supposed to be prepping them to be arrows out into the world. And uh, although Samuel didn't leave the NICU or come home with us, he was still an arrow to us and uh, he was able to donate two heart valves and to help two other families and uh, those generations of the families to come. And so that was ultimately one of the purposes I, we truly believe that God had for him. 
and we can't be angry or bitter at that. And uh, even with the name Samuel, it means God's heart. And in the amazing gift of being able to donate heart valves, we see that nothing is by coincidence. But in us being bold and sharing the story of our son, that his story can be an arrow for Christ. We took a lot of pride in writing an obituary for our son. And um, we needed to drive home the point that all life is important and that it's precious and that it's not something um, to be taken for granted or to be thrown away. And that even though our son was only here on this earth for eight days, his life had purpose and um, that that purpose was lived out in those eight days. And those eight days were such a gift to us. They were, yeah. We've known for a long time that um, God gives and he takes away and that's so real to us right now. And um, we could be so bitter about everything that we've lost and all of the things that we changed in our lives to accommodate a second child, but it's all part of his plan. And our lives are forever changed because of Samuel.